Welcome to our videos on Online Market Research 101. Our tenth video looks at ways you can get detailed information about your competition, who they are, and what their sites have looked like over time. When moving into a new market, or considering moving into a new market, you may want to take a hard look at your competition, including how long they've been around, and how their site has changed over time. A useful tool to do the first half of that is Domain Tools at DomainTools.com. There are plenty of other sites that do similar things. What we're going to do is perform a Who Is lookup. Who Is basically lets you know the registered owner information for any given domain. You can do a Who Is lookup at almost any domain registrar. For example, Network Solutions, which is one of the leading registrars, or GoDaddy.com. However, I'll be using Domain Tools in this example. So, let's go with our potential rival, GolfBalls101.com, and search. And let's see what it brings back. Okay, you get the Whois information about the domain, and you get quite a bit more, too. You get the meta description, which has been covered in a previous video, meta keywords, and you get related sites, too. You can take your time to look through all that, but skipping past that in this instance, what we're looking for is the Whois information. It will tell you who they use to register the domain, in this case, moniker.com, and actually the registrant is interesting. It's Moniker Privacy Services, so they actually paid a bit extra to have their Whois information kept private. So in this instance, we can't get a lot of information on the actual site owner because they've used one of the privacy services. Past that, you also get a listing of the main servers, which might give you a clue of where the site is hosted, if you think that's relevant. And it tells you when it was created. In this instance, it's saying the site was created in April of 2004, so it's been around for a while. Let's use another example. Let's type in golfballs.com. and see what details they bring back and see if their details are hidden or not. Okay, we have the same detailed information, website title, meta description, meta keywords, and so on, but skipping past that to the who is information, the registrant is golfballs.com, registered through godaddy.com, created on May of 1998, so this domain has been owned for quite a while, and it expires well into the future, too. In this case, the contact is Tom Cox at golfballs.com, and so it appears that that's the actual company information. That's one way you can do a bit of research into your competition. Another way is if you go to archive.org. They have something called the Wayback Machine, and that lets you see what your competition used to look like. So, let's go with golfballs101.com, and take me back, and you see that this free service actually takes a series of snapshots over time. There's nothing stored from 2007. The last image stored is from 2006, May 28th. If we click that, we can get an idea of how the site looked then. And here it is. So let's go back and take another look. Let's see how different the site looked right from the start. So let's go back to May 1st of 2004. Okay, site coming soon. <laughs> Nothing there yet. 
Let's go back and try another date. Let's try July of 2004 and see if they've managed to get the site up by then. And yes, they did. And actually, it looks remarkably similar to what it does now. Some sites change regularly, and you'll see drastic changes from year to year, whereas Golf Balls 101 has kept largely the same design in this instance. So, these are a couple of additional ways to get further research into your potential competitors.